is standing by. Hey, Stephen Paul. So I am tracking that. These are the official triple digits for the year. We're now from, we moved from 48 to now to 49, especially since we saw 102 for today. So overall, it has been really hot, but this is what I am tracking. According to this module right here, as you can go and see all the green, this is the indication of the moisture. But as you can see here in El Paso and Las Cruces, within our borderline, it is brown. That's indication of dry air. What I am tracking is by the end of the week, we're going to have one wave of low pressure, which is all the moisture moving from California into our borderline. And then also later on from Monday and Tuesday from the start of the next week, we're going to have a second wave. And because of that, it's really going to dip down our temperatures enough roughly around five degrees. But that's enough for us, especially since we've had a lot of back to back triple digits. But because of that, we might not even see some more isolated thunderstorms. And that's good news because it's been pretty dry. And here's the hour by hour outlook. 6 p.m. right now, we're already seeing our 90s. We're going to continue to dip down from 9 p.m. We're going to see our 80s. And then take a look right here, already at 3 o'clock in the morning and all the way to 7 o'clock, we're going to be hanging out in our 70s. So overall, a really warm day and not only that, a warm start to our day and sidewalk temperatures all right here from Las Cruces to Socorro, roughly around 125 degrees. Really hot to be outside with your furry family members and hour by hour gusts, a really calm evening similar to yesterday. If you can go to just take advantage of it because I am tracking that not only is it going to be calm, but it's going to be nice and fresh in our 70s. And tomorrow we do have the start of school for NMSU students. And so all of this good news, especially because we also have the tailgate party taking place at the Sun Bowl and Another good news, fall begins in 33 days and the countdown continues. And for the month of August, you have probably been feeling that we've been under an ABC 7 first alert a lot. And that's because the threshold to issue an ABC 7 first alert for the heat is 104 and above. And as you can take a look every single day, that's an orange indication above average temperatures. And the red is indication, a new record that we sent. But one thing that I am tracking is the future temperatures all the way from August 26th to 30th, even though we are leaning above average, is showing more in the orange side, which isn't as extreme as red, which we were seeing yesterday. So overall, really nice news. And when it comes to the month of August, we're roughly around 102 degrees. So we are definitely running above average, but I am tracking that we're going to continue to end it this month like this. But then later on, the good news is that when it comes to October, we have not seen any triple digits. For the next seven days, we're going to be anywhere from 98 degrees to 103 degrees with 10% chance of rain. And Las Cruces, you're also going to be in your 90s with some triple digits.